Hi everyone, it's Leslie Starr. I wanted to make a video today because I just ordered the Airspun Loose Face Powder. I bought it off Amazon. I have seen a lot of beauty influencers using this and I was excited about smelling it. Which I know sounds really crazy, <laughs> but a lot of the times, you know, they get the product they're like, mm, it smells so good, and I'm like, mm, I want to smell it. So I got it. it came in this really nice, um, you know, protective little bag with the little seal on there, and it just says on the back, Airspun Loose Face Powder Translucent. As I understand, maybe there might be a pinker version as well, but because I'm so pale, as you can see, um, I didn't want to buy the pink one. I thought it'd give me kind of a pink tone to my face, and I wanted to kind of keep it all matte. In saying that, I started with priming my face with the Arbonne Makeup Primer. Now, um, I'm only using this because I am out of my other primer. And um, it's not that it's bad, it's just very silicone-y and kind of a bit thick. And I don't really like primers like that. But anyways, I'm going to use it until it's all done. But Arbonne is a great company, so um, nothing against them. I'm just This is just not my favorite product. Um, so I did that, and then I put on, which I just tried for the first time, is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in matte poreless, normal to oily. I really loved it. Um, my shade is 112 Natural Ivory. And it just went on very easily. I know a lot of people don't really like the matte and poreless one, but um, I do. I like the matte finish. I don't really like dewy that much because I feel like I get sweaty during the day anyways and I have like a natural dew. <laughs> so I wanted to calm that down a little bit. And of course the holy grail. I always use my Tarte Shape Tape. I am in fair. I use this. You can see here. I use this under my eyes. I use it down my nose. And here. Here. Oh. Oops Daisy. Oopsie daisy. And then I just put some here and then I bounced it in with a beauty blender. So let's get started and open this up. So yeah, it says translucent. Oh, it's got some sort of protective seal again on it, which is good. And it has little pumpkins, which is why I wanted to review it. You guys see my little pumpkin in the back there. Happy Halloween month. That all opened here. I'm gonna open it. All the reviews say it smelled like old lady, and I'm like, hmm, kind of want to smell it. <laughs> oh, it has a really, it has a huge powder puff. I love these things. Oh wow, it does smell like old lady, but I'm totally here for it. It just smells like a light old lady perfume smell, but not bad. Like, just, you know, my grandma used to have face powder that was loose like this, and I think it smells exactly the same. It's a little, like, perfumey, but it mostly smells like a little, like, baby powder, I guess. But this is great. I love these. So it also comes with, like, a protective little seal here, so we'll just open that up. Very powdery, which I love in the setting powder. Oh boy. Okay, let's try this out with this first. And then we'll use um, Rihanna's little um, blending. Okay. So we're going to put it right here. Let me zoom in for you here. So we're going to use Rihanna's because I want it really thick. So I'm actually going to put it in here. Come on. Hello. Hello. And then um, at first I didn't like this beauty blender from Rihanna, but I love it now. 
I thought it was really small to begin with, but I actually like that. I actually like that it's very precise in what you're doing. Uh, so we'll put it here. Yeah, see? Notice the difference? This is more like disperses evenly where I like it caked on. Now we're going to do up here. I like the smell. It smells like, kind of like baby powder, I guess. Something that you would think it smells like. Let's just put that that way. I know I'm going to use a lot of this stuff fast because I love baking my face. I'm just put it, you know, all over where I put the concealer. Don't worry about you looking too pale as I look like a ghost right now because you just wait a few minutes. It just went all, all over my shirt. <sighs> Anyways, moving on. Um, so let's just wait and see how that looks on the face. It feels very like it absorbs a lot. It feels like I have like zero sweat now, which is great. That's exactly what you want your makeup. It, to be protected, you know, it seals it all in there. And then I'll just go like this all over. I'm going to let this sit for a couple minutes and I'll be back to show you putting on the rest of my base makeup and see how everything goes on with my bronzer and my blush and my highlight. I will be right back. So it's been about five minutes or so and I wanted to show you, it's still kind of on there, you can see here, but all in all, like I think it's set my makeup pretty well. This is a clean bronzing brush from Echo Tools, it's called the Echo Tools Domed Bronzer Brush and I got this from Walmart for about $10, so I'm just going to wipe away excess here. I love the smell of it. It's very clean. Like, I don't know how to explain A clean grandma smell. <laughs> so I'm going in with my butter bronzer, which is next. Love this stuff. This stuff smells like a coconut dream. Mexican foundation extravaganza. Now I am going in with my butter bronzer. Oops, that was upside down. I'm going in with my Butter Bronzer next to complete my face base, face base. This is by Physicians Formula and it smells like you're taking a wonderful exotic vacation. It just smells like coconut, I don't know how to, how to say it any more than that. This is um, the Butter Bronzer, I guess this is just the lightest one. And I'm going in with my domed brush. I like a lot on because I like look like a ghost. So I just go like that a little bit and go in. So I like to, you know, bring out my cheekbones a little bit and then bring it up and then bring it down. Kind of like a three. See? One, two, three. It's very important to blend the neck as well. I'm gonna go in again, this side. Up, down, down. As you can see, it gives kind of a dimension to the face. And then I put it up in my forehead line, down my nose, my chin. I like the most of it to be right where my cheeks are, so you can really see a defined line there. And then basically I just add the rest of the face and just blend it down my neck, the ears, and down here as well, just to all blend it all through. There we go. Oh, my face is feeling so good. It's feeling like fresh and like laid down. I don't know how else to describe it. It just feels like it's locked and loaded in there. 
Next, I am using my Echo Tools blush brush and going in with my Tarte blush that I got from my Ipsy bag. This one is called Party, and it's the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. It's beautiful. And it just gives you a light blush to your face, so I just like that. It's makeup, so you don't have to be too serious about it. If you make a mistake, just wash your face or try and blend it in. It's really not the end of the world. And just so my cheeks don't just look like that, I like to, you know, dust it a little bit over so it kind of all blends in. And now I am going to do the rest of my makeup and I will be back soon. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I will be back soon to show you the rest of it and we'll use the Makeup Forever setting spray to lock it all in and I'll give my final thoughts. So it's been about 10 minutes and I finished the rest of my makeup by using Kylie Cosmetics lipstick in Coco K. Love this stuff. Then I used a voluminous, voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara from L'Oreal. I love this stuff. Love it. Love it. Love it. Makes your eyelashes so long. Separates. No clumping. Love it. Then I used for my eyes, I used my Smashbox Contour Palette. I just used this shade right there, which is the contour shade for my eye shadow. And then to end this whole look, we are going to use Makeup Forever's Professional Spray, Makeup Setting Spray. <sighs> this stuff is my holy grail. I love it. I love the smell of it. I love the way it makes my makeup feel, look. I love everything about it. So we are just going to spray forever. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. little one. And then you fan it. Thank you, Nikki Tutorials. You told me to fan it until it dries. I should have a delicate fan, but I have a piece of paper. <laughs> and I can pretty much guarantee that my makeup will last all day long. No problems. I love that setting spray. So overall, I just want to talk about this again. I love the texture on how it made my skin look. It looks airbrushed almost. I love the smell. I loved how thick it was going on. I love the packaging. It's cute with the little pumpkins for Halloween. I loved the price. It was only 20 bucks online Amazon, uh, Canadian. And I just love that a lot of people are using it. It's really cute. I love it and I will continue to use this and when it disappears from me using it so much because I use a lot of it, I will be repurchasing. Thank you so much for watching and if you want me to do any tutorials, just leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and like this video and until I see you guys next time, bye bye!